wasn't even two years ago when a new player came into the premium luxury market and that brand was Genesis. At that time, they introduced their flagship G90 full-size sedan and they promised us a total of six vehicles, meaning three sedans, two SUVs and one coupe. We're here today in Mont-Tremblant, Quebec with the all new Genesis G70. We're gonna tell you all about it, plus we're gonna take it on the track. I'm really looking forward to seeing these G70s on the road. It seems they were able to design more style into the G70 than its bigger siblings, the G80 and 90. I know there are people out there that are gonna compare this to the Kia Stinger that was introduced earlier this year, but these are two completely different vehicles. Yes, they do share a common motor and a common chassis, but that's where it ends. The G70 is 150 millimeters or six full inches shorter than the Kia Stinger. Plus the Stinger is a hatchback similar to the Audi A7, whereas the G70 is more of a traditional sports sedan with a trunk. Dimensions-wise, the G70 is similar to that of its direct competitors, but this thing is wide, and it's the widest of the bunch, and it really shows when you look at it. With a long wheelbase and short overhangs, the G70 style is athletic, yet mature. The only thing that I would change is the chrome chevron-shaped vent pieces. Other than that, styling is a winner for me. Pricing for the G70 start at $42,000 and go up to $57,500, which is extremely competitive. You see, with Genesis, everything is all in except taxes. No hidden fees, plus you get five years maintenance with at-home valet service included. Although this is the smallest of the G sedans, this is a big vehicle for the brand. The G70 is our new compact luxury sports sedan. We started in the marketplace with a midsize and a full size, which sell to a very important portion of the market, but in fairly low volume. So as a new brand that's trying to grow and bring new customers into the fold, having a more accessible compact sedan like this that we can sell to a broader range of consumers is going to take us to the next level in our development. Why am I not surprised that I really like the interior of the G70? Well, the G90 and the G80, those interiors were flawless, so why stop there? You just take a look at everything, it just feels very, very premium. And it is, it's not just the feel. They use premium materials, the fit and finish is perfect. Look at the metal work here and the corners and how it matches up every different material. This is equipped with Napa leather seats. Look at the quilted design on these. There's so much detail in this vehicle. And there are so many different combinations that you can get with different colored stitching, different colored seats different color dash. In behind the steering wheel, you have your tack and your speedo, and you have a programmable middle screen. In the center, you get an eight inch screen, which is standard on all G70s. This is a newly designed screen, the monitor itself. And it basically they embed the cells up for the touch system inside the monitor instead of using a membrane. What does that mean? It's much quicker. So when you hit something, everything's very, very quick. By the way, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay come standard on all G70s. The entire middle console here is tilted about six degrees toward the driver, which is great. It eliminates glare, first of all, for the screen having that little bit of an angle. And you get redundant controls for your heating, your radio, your navigation. If you have navigation, everything is here so you get buttons and dials for everything else. Down below, this is equipped with wireless charging. In the middle, you have your transmission selector, your drive mode, and everything just looks very, very simple and tidy. In the back, there are three seat belts, so this is a five passenger vehicle, but I really wouldn't recommend putting someone in that middle seat. It's gonna be really, really tight. And even in the other seats, remember this is in the compact car class, so not a ton of room. There are two power plants available for the G70. The first one is what we're in right now, and that's a two liter, four cylinder turbocharged engine, and that puts out 252 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. And the first thing when I got in here and put my foot down, first thing I noticed is the sound of it. It has kind of a, a, a neat growl to it. Now part of that is due to the system they have uh, pumping the audio sound through the, the stereo speakers. But the good thing about that is you can turn that right off if you want. So I have it on for normal and I like it. 
and that is matched with an eight-speed automatic transmission that we have here. You can change the gears with the paddle shifters, but there is a model you can get with a six-speed manual transmission. Now, if you go for that option, it's only a rear-wheel drive. Meanwhile, in Canada, all the other G70s come standard with their all-wheel drive system. Now, speaking of the all-wheel drive system, which this one's equipped with, it is a, a rear bias system where it normally operates more like a rear-wheel drive car. Uh, you can transfer up to 90% of the power to the rear. Let's say you're driving on the highway where there's very little or no load on the vehicle or the engine, and it can actually disconnect the front totally so that gives you better fuel economy available on the g70 also brembo brakes which not a lot of vehicles in this class have brembo brakes as an option if you've never been to quebec it's a beautiful area but winters can be pretty harsh and the roads really tell that tale uh there's they're pitted they're they're really really bumpy um there's potholes and this suspension soaks it up very, very well. On this one, in all the four cylinders, you get a passive suspension. Well, on the V6 models that we're gonna talk about in a second, you actually get an adaptive suspension, which is perfect for roads like this. When it's a little too harsh, you can put it into a soft mode. And when you wanna have a little more fun in the corners or on the track that we're going to, uh, you can really stiffen that up. All in all though, they've done a great job tuning the suspension. By the way, this chassis, not only was it tuned in hot climates, cold climates, but it was also tuned on the Nürburgring. They really tuned it to get the most out of this vehicle. This G70 is also equipped with a head-up display. Uh, it's very, very crisp, it's very adjustable, it has all the information that you could ever need right in front of you. As for advanced driving aids that so many vehicles have nowadays, the G70 comes with all of them. You name it, it pretty well has it. It has the rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, pedestrian monitoring, uh, cyclist, and that all comes standard with all the G70s. The only thing that doesn't come standard though is the 360 camera that you can get. All right, there's a quick look at the two liter turbo engine. Let's head to the track now and check out that twin turbo V6. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we are in the G70 3.3 liter twin turbo sport model. So we're in the drive mode, let's put it into sport. What's really interesting is when you put it into sport, not only does it uh, enhance everything and the steering, and we'll check out the suspension in a second, but the bolsters actually kick in a little bit. So let's uh, put the windows up and check out Mont Tremblant. thing you notice man there is a big difference in power and torque with this twin turbo v6 365 horsepower and 376 pound feet of torque that's matched to an eight speed automatic transmission we've got a sport mode that we switched it to all-wheel drive system right now on the sport mode right now with the v6 it does come with adaptive suspension so on the street you can have it nice and comfy especially with all those potholes and we can stiffen it right back up on the track and i've been lucky enough that i've been on this track well, a fair number of times now it's a great track a lot of elevation changes and uh, it's nice because i'm not doing a lot of reconnaissance laps i can really open this g70 up hard hard on the brakes this one is equipped with brembo brakes also exclusive to this sport model you get the 19 inch wheels with the michelin pilot sport fours and also you get a mechanicals limited slip rear differential but boy oh boy this car is easy to drive and easy to drive fast and you know these cars have been lapping lap after lap without much of a brake and they're stock vehicles 
This thing is, it's a hoot. One of their primary competitors is the BMW 3 Series. And I'm a former 3 Series owner, actually. How does this compare? Yeah, you know, first of all, this has more power than the 3 Series, but uh, I'd have no problem going into one of these instead of a 3 Series. And hugging those corners, man. It definitely doesn't hurt to have the sticky Michelins on there either. And hard, 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 hard on the brakes. The transmission is actually, seems to be shifting at the right time, the right places. You know, we're doing lead follow, but at a very, very good clip because everyone in my group right now has been on the track before. The torque, it just keeps pulling from like 100K all the way, 150, 155, no problem. High speed, off camber corner that we're doing right now. A little bit of trail braking. You know, Genesis, I'm not just saying this because they brought us to this track to test this G70. They did a great job on this. The tuning of everything, it's, it's balanced. Yeah, it's not a sports car per se, but oh man, it can definitely hold its own on this racetrack. Zero problem. And on to the straightaway. Uphill, 140, 150, 160, 187 kilometers an hour and harden the brakes. Can't believe zero brake fade. All right, well, we're going to do our cool down lap. Let's talk about this brand, not just this car, Genesis. Less than two years old, it's been amazing what they've accomplished. All three cars now that they've got out are spectacular. They're not cutting any corners. And when I asked, you know, are you trying to take, take away sales from the BMW 3 Series or the Audi A4? Yeah, so we're a new luxury brand and we're trying to do things differently and authentically to attract the right type of customer. And with the Genesis G70, we do expect that we're going to attract some competitors from the German 3 and from the Japanese. Um, just given the way that the vehicle has been designed and executed. But of course, this is the historical entry point into the luxury segment. And so by the same token, we look forward to attracting new buyers who are perhaps buying their first luxury vehicle and then retaining their loyalty over the course of the years. Of course, there's gonna be people that will uh, be conquest buyers, but they're not expecting to do this overnight. They're here for the long haul. And with products like this, and also the upcoming SUVs and the coupe they have, I'm telling you, those other manufacturers, they better be looking in their rear view mirror because Genesis is coming. That's a fact. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. <laughs>